James Willow, the Boxing Source, here with another video. And this video here is to talk about Charles Martin. That's right, Prince Charles Martin, or the God Charles Martin. Uh, as he has his uh, recent article that has been put up this morning uh, through Keith Eidick. And, uh, you know, Charles Martin ha has uh, been back into the heavy rank rankings uh, recently as he did have his win over Gerald Washington uh, by knockout on uh, February 22nd. That was an IBF eliminator. And that put him in position to be next in line to compete for the IBF heavyweight championship. Yes, the same IBF heavyweight championship that Charles Martin won in January of 2016 over Vacheslav Glaskov and hitting his first defense of that IBF title, he lost to Anthony Joshua. Uh, so now he has been able to get himself uh, back up into the rankings. And with his win over Gerald Washington, he is currently ranked number two in the IBF rankings with Kubrat Pulev being number one and the mandatory for the IBF heavyweight championship. And now he did have the uh, fight between Kubrat Pulev and Anthony Joshua uh, that is scheduled for June 20th at the uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but that has been postponed. So we're waiting to see what the new date would be for that particular fight. And Charles Martin is also waiting to see what happens with that particular fight because he wants another shot with uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, he says that uh, he told Boxing Scene that, you know, having a rematch with Anthony Joshua is all that he's thinking about. Uh, when he's in there training, he's training for Anthony Joshua. He wants to knock Anthony Joshua out. Uh, he says, that's how it goes when so many people write you off and the world writes you off and then everybody is criticizing you about it. It just fuels you more to want to get the get back. Climb all the way back up the ladder and face that man that started all that shit for you, right? Now, with Charles Martin, he does uh, have trainer Manny Robles in his corner uh, now. So, um, it seems like he's trying to develop uh, his skills with Manny Robles uh, in his corner. And that is something that, you know, is giving him a little bit more confidence in the his uh, next matchup, um, if it is going to be against Anthony Joshua or if he's going to uh, have another fight to basically solidify himself as the IBF mandatory after the fight between Joshua and Pulev uh, there. So um, he did also criticize, that's Charles Martin, also did criticize the performance of Anthony Joshua uh, back in December 7th of 2019 in the rematch between Joshua and Ruiz. Uh, Charles Martin said he was very scared to engage. He didn't engage at all. He ran, he ran, he ran. He boxed, he boxed, he moved, he moved. And that wasn't even his style. He lost all that weight and stuff like that because he knew. But I don't take nothing from him. He's a good dude, a stand-up guy, but he's scared to get punched. He's scared to be in the trenches. I know that with somebody that can punch, he won't be the same. He's going to be pretty wary. Uh, so he kind of feels that Anthony Joshua isn't a guy that is willing to scrap toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, with guys that are punchers. Uh, but, you know... Like I say on the podcast, the point of boxing is to hit and not get hit, not to stand and trade. This is a tactical sport. Can it be brutal? Yes. Can it be exciting when it's brutal? Yes. But the point of the matter is to win. And if you hit your opponent and manage not to get hit by your opponent, then you're winning straight up, you know. Um, but here with uh, Charles Martin, a.k.a. I walk this earth like a god, he just feels that he has a little bit more confidence now uh, as he has, 
you know, won five uh, fights with only one loss, uh, that loss to Adam Kaunaki uh, at the Barclays Center uh, since his loss to Anthony Joshua in 2016. Uh, so he's, you know, having more confidence now, you know, having that little uh, run of victories uh, that he has. And like I said, with the knockout of uh, Gerald Washington back on February 22nd, that he is in that position to basically fight uh, for the mandatory spot for the IBF Heavyweight Championship. So uh, within the next, you know, uh, 12 to 16 months, he could be in that position to possibly fight Anthony Joshua once again. That's all I got for right now. Um, be sure to subscribe to The Boxing Source here on YouTube and catch The Boxing Source radio show uh, Sundays at 730 on Blog Talk Radio, or catch the podcast on Anchor.fm, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, whatever your favorite podcast app is. On that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.